Ruby Lin Zinru is an accomplished Taiwanese actress who has also made her mark in showbiz as a singer and TV series and film producer. Originally, this multi-talented diva had no plans to enter show business and wanted to pursue higher studies in England, but she ventured into a part-time model at the age of 17. This helped her pack her first TV commercial and be followed by many others. She made her acting debut in the mid-1990s and landed her breakout role in the hugely popular TV series My Fair Princess, making her a household name in Asia. In the years that followed, she acted in many hit TV series such as Rival Beauty in the Palace, Half-Life Fate and My Fair Princess. She went singing in 1999 and has released six albums to date. Her first job as a producer on the TV series The Glamorous Imperial Concubine earned her two Best Producer Awards. Since then, she has produced and acted in several other television series and a few TV series. Apple Daily, Taiwan, named her the highest-earning Taiwanese drama actress in 2012 and 2013. Childhood and Early Life Ruby Lin Zinru was born on January 27, 1976 in Taipei, Taiwan, the eldest child of her parents. She has two younger brothers and a half-sister from her father's second marriage. She attended RIXIN Primary School. Her businessman father and mother divorced when she was seven years old, after which she lived with her mother. She then graduated from Zhong Dian High School and was contemplating further study in the UK, giving up all plans for a showbiz career. However, things took a turn when she started modeling part-time at the age of 17. In 1994, she appeared in a Jasmine Tea commercial, which was her first television commercial. Although her parents were initially reluctant to allow her to enter showbiz, a determined Ruby went on to appear in several other commercials and eventually developed an interest in acting. After her parents agreed, Ruby joined the entertainment management company Jessie and Jones Entertainment on her 20th birthday. Career Her exposure through advertising brought her to the notice of several film and television directors and companies. She made her acting debut with the 1995 film School Days, followed by many other supporting roles in Taiwanese dramas. Her breakthrough came with the 1998 television series My Fair Princess, which was a joint production of mainland China's Hunan Broadcasting System and Taiwan's Yiren Media Company. My Fair Princess, which was first broadcast on China television in Taiwan from April 28, 1998 to June 25, 1999, became an extraordinary production in East Asia and Southeast Asia. Asia and is considered the most prosperous Chinese language drama ever. Ruby who was originally cast for the role of Saya ended up taking the lead role of Xia Ziwei. The massive popularity of My Fair Princess in mainland China, South Korea, Hong Kong and Southeast Asia made her an overnight sensation and a household name. Following this success, she went on to star in a number of other television series that showcased her versatility by portraying various roles, including hits like Duke of Mount Deer, 2001, and Romance in the Rain, 2001. She also starred in three Hong Kong big-screen films of Winner Made All the Games, China Strike Force and End Comic King in 2000. Ruby is a talented singer who put out her first album Heartbeat in 1999. It has brought her several awards. This was followed by five more albums, Double Faced Ruby Lin, 2001, Paula Paula, 2001, 18 Springs New and Best Collection, 2004, Own Ruby Lin, 2004, and New Ruby. 2008. Starting in 2002, she began to focus on her career prospects in mainland China. This saw her starring in three successful TV series Flying Daggers, Boy and Girl, and Half-Life Fate. All three films released in Asia in 2003 further increased her popularity, earning many fame and awards. With a career spanning nearly a decade that includes an impressive and enviable body of work, Ruby, who seems to have never given up on her dream of studying abroad after high school, is determined to study the winter of 2004 to study abroad. Acting and language in New York City, U.S. This led her to study performance at the New York Film Academy and English at Study Group International. In the years that followed, she honed her skills and broadened her scope as an actress. She has taken on different challenging roles in different dramas which have brought her fame from critics, media, and audiences which further fueled her flourishing career. These include Paris Sonata, 2006, Legends and Heroes 2, 2009, Dali Princess Tan, 2009, and Beauty's Rival in Palace Life, 2010, among others. At the end of 2006, she broke off her 10-year relationship with Zhongji Management Company. She then signed with Huawei Brothers Film and Television Corporation, 
China's largest domestic film production and management company, on November 30, 2006 for $10 million. She took the stage with the play, Sweet Sweet Love, in 2010, which had a successful run for three months starting May 7 of that year. Although it was scheduled to perform in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Hangzhou, its growing popularity brought it to Nanchang. She began her journey as a producer with the 2011 Chinese historical fantasy romantic drama series The Glamorous Imperial Concubine Huyan. It was the debut product of the production company Ruby Lin Studio, which she founded in 2009. She played one of the main characters of Mafia in The Glamorous Imperial Conqueror. The series won excellent ratings and received her Best Producer Award at the China Drama Awards and the Best Actress and Producer Award at the Entertainment Awards. Yuku 2011 To date, she has produced and acted in several television productions. These include films such as Forgotten, 2012, and Mother's Knock, 2014, and Drama Go. 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 2012, The Way We Are, 2014, and Sing All at the Same Time, 2016. The Way We Were, marks her return to Taiwan TV after a gap of 10 years. This hugely popular series is still among the top two dramas in the list of most popular dramas on IKI. It won the award for Best Drama at the 50th Golden Bell Awards in 2015 in addition to earning Ruby a number of other awards and accolades. Her widespread popularity saw her receive a number of endorsement deals. Over the years, she has remained a spokesperson for several brands including Coca-Cola, 2000, Esprit, 2001, Pantene, 2003-2006. VOV Cosmetics, since 2006, China Mobile, since 2007. Japanese company Glico, Oryx, since 2011, and Shiseido Elixir, 2017. In 2020, after stay in Malaysia almost two months for new film Miss Andy, Lin starred Taiwanese Netflix original series The Victim's Game as special guest. The series dominating Netflix's Chinese language programming list for many consecutive days. In 2020, Lin starred in the modern drama The Arc of Life as the female lead and producer. According to the APPL Daily, Lin ranked fifth on the highest paid Taiwanese actor of 2020 list despite turning down multiple job offers in China. Personal life For a time, she was romantically involved with Taiwanese actor, Jimmy Lin. She then dated Taiwanese actor Wallace Huo and confirmed their relationship in May 2016. On that July 31st, the two got married at the Bulgari Hotel in Bali. They also held a wedding reception in Taipei on August 2 of that year. The couple welcomed a daughter in January 2017. This ravishing diva does a lot of charity work including donations, fundraisers, and acts as a spokesperson for various causes. Such efforts by Ruby have earned her a number of awards and recognition.